Hey, hey, hey. Can everybody hear me okay? A couple thumbs up would be cool. Help me out. Or a yes. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Can everybody hear me? Before I get started, I want to make sure that very good, David. Thank you, Kurt. Laurel, boom. I got a couple of yeses. Good sound. Thanks, Tim. Okay, let me enter. Let me uh, say hello to a couple of people. Eric Kessler's in the house, number one on the spot. Back to the good old days, Eric. Barbara Ann Johnson, I hope you're doing well. Welcome. Theorius is in the house. Lister, one of the powerhouse women of Unpassive, is here. Another one, Dawn McIntyre. Linda Chapetta, another one. Holy cow, we are packed with strong, incredible women. Now we're going to go to Dick Tracy. Ron Holbert is here, the de detective on In Charge. Robert Oates, how you doing, Robert? Nick Munty is here. Uh, Tim the Leprechaun Dylan, otherwise known as Captain Kirk. Narelle Warcon, why the heck she is here? It's like early in the morning, but thank you. Brett Graham, Anita Rosa, Engineer Mike. Mike, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to re, I'm going to put it back in again today. Susan Hodges, welcome. David Cox, glad you could be here. Evanita, Evanita hmm, Stocker, I know I butchered your name, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and we got David Switzer's in the house. David, what's happening? Donna Hamlin. Big John White. The Barber Man. From the Barber Shop. Shout out to everybody in the Barber Shop. High and tight. That's all you need to know because that's right. You don't need any fancy nothing. Save your money. High and tight will last uh, a few nights, right? Christina. Uh-oh. It just jumped down. I got to. Victor Gumbalade, how you doing, buddy? <clears throat> George Holdsworth, Bobby Durag, Bobby, you got a new nickname. You know what it is. You know what it is. John Travolta, saw him dancing. He was moving his groove thing. Lloyd Hamlet, Hamilton, sorry. Uh, Marty J.M. Berger, hello, Marty. William the Marshmallow DeLorme. I was wondering where you at, William. Wanda Cooper, another powerhouse woman, along with Narell. I think the women got the men outnumbered. Diane Tatum is in the house. Rama Kendra, welcome. Andy Barthrow, welcome. Christina Dodds is here. Christina's always here. Thank you. Lori Mon is here. Nice. We have uh, Trevor Peters. Hello, Trevor. Bill. The Spielberg Must is in the house. Get his autograph, everybody. Get his autograph. Billy, you're going to be a busy man soon because we need a lot of videos. We're going to share this thing like crazy coming soon. Tanya on Passive. Tanya, I don't know what we'd do without you. I'll tell you right now. Tanya even keeps me straight. I made a mistake and wrote on passive without putting capital letters. She don't play that. She don't care who you are. Marty, get your butt back in there and put capitals. I said, yes, ma'am. Sorry. Antoinette Hayes is in the house. Osaku Akoya. Oh, I think I said that right. Or very close to being right. <clears throat> Very close to being right. Well, not a lot of people here. This is unlisted. 
the reason I unlisted it is because I want to talk about yesterday. And I don't think people that aren't founders need to know everything. Red Redford's in the house. He just did a live. I watched it. Red, I hope I can live up to your standard, but I'll try. Uh, Elsie Patch. There's Harry. Brett Schneider. What's happened to Harry? Okay. <clears throat> Yesterday was probably ranks right up there with one of the best webinars we've been on. And if all of you don't know by now, if you don't know by now what you are part of and what you were blessed to be part of, you need to go to the doctors immediately. Have them do a scan of the brain. Something is not right. Guys, it was so clear how big we thought it was. And I have a big imagination, trust me. When on Passive Nation and me, myself, Mike and Dan, really promoted this heavy the first couple of years, first year and a half, in my mind, it was huge. And I was wrong. It's much, much bigger. Much, much bigger. Anyway, I want to go over some of the stuff that were brought up yesterday. Hold on. Remember, I'm the guy with allergies in the middle of the freaking winter. Um, plus, I'm on full-blown keto right now. So you go to a keto kind of... Um, but, um, sickness until your body gets switched over so tomorrow i should be good <clears throat> um let me go to the recap i'll do the best i can as said right in the beginning he's more pleased with the pro he is very pleased with the progress that he's making recap of our journey it's been a turbulent year let's not kid ourselves we know i mean let's another thing unless we're hiding under a rock that the pandemic wreaked havoc this year and last year, you know, where they had to shut down. They had to spray out the company, <clears throat> relocate people. It's just, it was part of reality. It's part of reality. And with on passive, because there's so many moving parts, gears turning other gears, which turn other gears, then you have the conductor at the front, which is Asmufara, trying to get the orchestra, which are the tech team, to play the perfect song. And you need them there, and you need people ready, and you need... So there was a lot of... Um, there were some hurdles. And thank the Lord above that ass is bullheaded. Um, he does not quit. Do or die, it's no joke. Um, it's just who he is. Thank God. Because a regular person because <laughs> that's just not regular, would not do this. And I'm a crazy son of a gun. And he asked me, would you do what I did? And I said, no, I don't think I could. I have a lot of drive. I've, everything in my life I did at work, I worked really hard to get what I where I wanted to be. It's just who I am. But he's a unique individual. He's definitely a unique individual. And what really blows him apart from anyone else I've ever met, and I met a lot of very, very sharp people, because I'm, I'm really fascinated in my life, not sports, not like some guys. Mine is meeting people that have a talent of surpassing other people. And I don't mean like, like some people do things like, man, I can't believe they can do that. I'm not talking about just in business, whatever. Just having having the whole sphere of the intelligence, the way to do it, uh, and the and the drive, and then on top of that, having the heart to give. I don't know anybody else like him. I mean, yeah, Santa Claus, but he's not real, is he? I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, they start, you know, they started off as a digital marketing platform. We all know that. When I got in, it was a digital marketing platform. 
And I don't know why, but myself, Mike, and Dan decided, let's push it. I think we pushed it bigger than it was. Now, I'm not sure why we did. I think I I read off of what I was hearing and what I did. We kind of had a, our own little bubble, which in the long run, in the beginning, was good for us because we were pushing something that maybe it wasn't quite yet. But I felt that's where we were going. I'm not sure why, but then after talking to Ash, it wasn't very long after we joined in March that April, May, it became what I, what I thought it was. Right now, obviously, it's a hundred times bigger than I thought it was. I'm not saying that, but the whole web, the whole blanket of you know, the planet to cover any digital need a person might need <clears throat> anywhere in the world. I, I didn't realize it was that big, but that's what I thought we were shooting for. Anyway, um, and when they were doing the marketing part of it, when it was going to be a um, uh, digital marketing platform only at that point they were going to have third party people involved right they weren't going to build everything from scratch because they at, at the very beginning they didn't think that maybe it was necessary but Ash's goal and dream was always on passive the full blown thing that we're doing now but he was going to do it in phases like he was doing phase one we'll do the digital marketing platform and then phase two, phase three, phase four we walk into this Bohemus mastodon that we have now, which is on passive. But as it was growing into April, May, and June of 2019, he reevaluated why wait four or five years down the line. Let's start building that that I really want now. I hope I summarized that good, but that that's the way that's the way he's I believe he said it last night. The way I feel that it went too. So, <clears throat> and, and like he said, there'll always be stages of unpassive. Unpassive isn't built and done. In, built, done, finished. No, it's built, ongoing advancements. N never stop. So, like he had said, down the road, you might look at on past it five years from now, and it's different. It's just different. Why? Because the demand was different. And that's just reading the demand, what people need, what will help people ahead of time, so that you're not playing catch up, you're leading the pack. A lot of these big companies, uh, that are leading now, they led because they were better and more efficient and had more value than their competitor at the time. But a lot of them get complacent. <clears throat> they shoot their big thing off and the rockets go off and boom, 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 and they don't advance. And that's where people, companies get caught with their virtual pants down. Okay. And ask and the company and his his whole dream and desire of the company is to always be running ahead of everyone else. Thank God again. Okay. Um if we look at different platforms, they're all over the place, right? Pretty much they're scattered. They're not focused on business solution. Uh, but this is pretty cool. This is, I said this yesterday, and I always have to uh, sleep on it or give myself time to think about what he said. You know, you got the millennials, the new, the new generation, and then you've got us, the old dogs and old cats, that the baby boomers, who were in the transition of uh, digital, digital, digital world. And some of us, if you didn't start doing it late 90s into now, are getting left behind, or they feel like they are. So Ash's vision was, and, I, and I'm doing this the best I can because 
reading his mind and what he says is not the easiest thing to do. But I feel like I know. Uh, Ash's vision was, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the baby boomers with us to feel, oh, I can't do that, right? The millennials are going to love it because it's going to be a little more comfortable for them. But if you take the two and guide them through this journey of digital, the digital world, my gosh, what does that do? What does that do? It builds the gap, communication, and a, a father or, or a grandfather or a mother and a son or a daughter talking and understanding more of what's going on. And on passive, bridges that gap between millennials and um, the baby boomers, right? Because I, I'm 61, I'm going to be 62. And I look at it, oh, I can't. But see, I kind of, not an expert by far, but I kind of stayed with it. When things were changing, I was fascinated with the change. Was it easiest for me to stay up as a 13-year-old punky kid in the basement? No. They were born with computers in their hand. They were born with gadgets. They understand it. They, you know. But if you do it, because on Path it was built for baby steps, for anybody, but the technology for the best, it's it's it, it kills <clears throat> many birds with one stone, really. Um, and being a one one stop shop, okay, this has never been done before. Education, finance, and business, boom, and social. That was an add on, or I'm going to add that because I think the social part of um passive. It's what made it a movement. It wasn't the products. It was the part of everyone here watching this or part of Unpassive, especially us old parts up in our 50s and 60s that went through life that feel that they weren't hurt or they weren't worth being hurt, which is even worse. I think on passive took a lot of people and gave them a mini platform to raise their hands up in the air and said, freak it, I'm worth something. And I have something to say. To me, that's priceless. To me, that's what made on passive, on passive. That's what made the movement. The technology, fantastic. The platform, second to none. The CEO seconded up, but the culture that was implemented, starting with Ash, and then slowly trickling down, is why we are who we are. And I think if we keep doing that, people will follow you because of because of your radiance of what you put off. You don't have to be the best speaker. You don't have to be uh, the best speller. You don't have to be look me. Right, but if they're talking and people want to hear you, that's a big deal. My thing is, I'm a gold. I'm a miner. I love digging for gold. I love looking for treasure. I love uh, using a uh, metal detector to find things. I love it, but I love even more doing that with people. I love going in a Zoom and looking around and seeing that that dime in there that maybe never never had a chance to sparkle and on passive gave everybody that opportunity i'm sorry for preaching but i can say whatever i want to say because it's unlisted so i'm going to take my time and hopefully I, you guys won't get bored and take a hike um Okay, on passive, the, another big deal that you got to look at is going to save businesses time and money, right? Now, we heard that governments might even be involved, which is just blows me away. But think about the money and time they can save. Like even if you put a corporation and they get into on passive and use the ecosystem, everything they want out of it. How much time and effort 
to be able to go to one thing and get a job done and tie something else into it without logging out, logging into someone else, and trying somehow to bridge the two, because the bridges are all there. There's many bridges all over on Passive. You might look at it and say, well, look at this maze. It doesn't matter. It goes where you want, when you want. And if you if you know the design of the bridges, you got it made. And that's going to take time. That means you go back there, monkey around, click buttons, move stuff. You're not going to break anything. Educate yourself on what does what. It'll blow you away. Do you have to use it? No. But it's your company. And the more you know, the better. Um. Schools and governments will be using our products. That's, like I said, that just, I mean, you get a government involved and they use it as part of their tool to help people. Other governments see it, the money, the value that it will it will be for a, a country like a Papua New Guinea. Uh, you don't think people are going to see it and jump on it like a fat rat in a cheese factory? Of course they are. And on passive will be a disruptor. Disruptor is the person that shook up things, made things happen that didn't happen before, right? Like Ash brought up cars. Yeah, there's all kinds of cars. There's only one Henry Ford. There's only one Ford. Why? First one to do mass production. Boom, 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 and pump out cars. And Henry Ford was smart. Make them the same. Boom, 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 boom. You can have any color you want as long as it's black, he said. Now, of course, things evolved. But where would we be without that initial disruptor like, like Ford? Or like Apple with the iPhone. Yes, there's other phones. There's Galaxy. There's all that. But when you look back in history, you're going to see on the top of that mountain of disruptors in the past, iPhone will be there. Apple will be there. No doubt. Um, let me keep going. Yeah, uh, another one. He said that comparing our company with somebody else is really a mistake. I mean, who are you going to compare it to? Oh, it's like Apple. No, I mean, oh, it's like Amazon. No, it's not. Oh, it's like Microsoft. No, it's not. Oh, we're going to take over this company. Take no, we're not. That's not the. That's not the, the goal. The goal is in a capital society is you have competition. Here's where things are going to fall bad for a lot of people, a lot of companies. Is if you give people value. and you give them a low price point, those two combinations and quality induced with AI, you know what you get from that? Domination. People want value. People don't have money to throw around, right? People don't have hundreds and hundreds, of, if not thousands, to get on Zoom. For a school or a college. Now, do they have the money? Yeah, but they, they force that money back down on the student. I'm telling you, college sees what's going on or a university with unpassive. It's not a sale. It's common sense. Unpassive is common sense for companies to use. Common sense. It's not about this has got this, this has got that, this has got this, this has got that. Evaluate. Evaluate what? There is no evaluation. There's there's no competition. Zero. I gotta go back and see if you guys can see me. Twenty-four minutes. Oh my god. Um let me keep going. Uh, bringing people together. I mean, that is obvious. I think the number one thing that happened in Unpassive is bringing people together. 
like-minded people from all the four corners of the earth. I don't think so. It happened. We saw it. Unless you're completely a moron. I mean, everybody can see it. I said this. On passive is a clean approach. It is. It's clean. It's clean money. It's a clean business. It's not about getting over on somebody or thinking we're going to do that to them or we're going to get them. We're not going to get anybody. We're going to make a stamp in this world. People are going to look for value. They're going to look for price point. They're going to look for quality. They're going to look for technology. And they're going to look for something that a, a baby boomer and a millennial can do. Now, you name a company that can do that, and I believe it starts with an O, capital O, okay? I'm passing. So, uh, once our products pass the O founder testing phase, then we'll be ready to move into unpassing website. Listen, I'm going to try to explain this to a little, the best I can. On passive, O Founders website was designed so that we could the build build the unpassive website. Here's what I mean. You take all the stuff, right? You, you, you take all the products, you take all the the, the huge platform where, where everything is interlinked, and you and you work on it in this little shop. The shop is called O Founders. You fine tune it, you pinstripe it, you you get the high gloss paint, you put the real nice tires on it, you got hand crafted interior, you got all this stuff that you really, really want. It's a masterpiece. It is the Mona Lisa. When you're done, you take all of that and redirect it, move it over. To a new domain called onpassive.com. Now I know some people think, oh, we gotta do this again. No, no, no. We're doing this now because nobody can see it, nobody knows what's going on, except for founders and Mr. Mofara and the tech team. And that's why I say to people, when you look at this as a customer or as a mom and dad, you're missing everything. Right now, you're supposed to be looking at this as a part of an owner, as somebody that wants to get it right. Are all the dots right? Are all the T's crossed? Does the sentence, is the paragraph right? Does the story make sense? Then you move it over to the main book. It's, it's notes right now. It's getting things right. That's who we are. If you can't be a founder, even though you have the title, go fishing until this thing's done. I wouldn't recommend it because this train, the wheels are turning right now. It's starting to go. We can reach our hand in and pull you up on the train, but eventually you can't run more than 10, 12 miles an hour. This thing's going to be going 1,000 miles an hour. Get in, get ready. We're going to keep bringing in new products and iron out the wrinkles as we go. That's part of it. Now, somewhere in January, big stuff's going to happen. Big stuff's going to happen. The world will know this is not a joke. They're going to know, without a doubt, everybody that walks on this planet are going to know this is the real deal. We know it already. And I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see some people munching down on some crow, like, like a whole flock of them, okay? And, and these people that are bad and actually slandering the company or saying things about ass are going to get what they deserve. 
No doubt about that. And like he said, a lot of people are going to come into this company probably 10 to 1 ratio are going to come in as customers. They're not going to know all these other things. They don't need to. You're going to have a customer that comes in and says, I want O-Connect, and that's what they want. We're not going to be talking to them and trying to tell them something. That's the company's job. The company will have baby carrots all over the place, and they're going to, if they want it, they're going to be able to look over and say, wait a minute, what's that? That's not our job. You get a reseller, yeah, you work with the reseller just like we're working with founders. No difference. But not everybody's going to be a founder. Not everybody's going to be a reseller. But we're all be customers. All of us. When the time comes. You're not now, but you will be. And a founder. Okay, emails. We've been talking, I, I have read has, Mike has, Michael Williams has, everybody's been talking. I can't remember when I started talking about emails, probably the fifth day I was in. If you got an email, keep it secure, make sure you have your password, make sure you have this, make sure you have that. Uh, this is a big deal, the password, password is the key to your future, don't lose anything. And what do we get? I can't find my I can't find my password to my email. That's not Unpass's problem. That's nothing to do with Unpass. That's nothing to do with me. Now there's some legitimate reasons why emails are not good. That's a different story, but most of them are because somebody didn't set up a a follow-up email. In other words, every email I have, if I lose the password, I go to the email that it's hooked to and I go, send the password to this email. And they'll do it, but I can walk in, I'm okay. It's forwarding all your stuff to one email. That can be done. If you have an emergency email, emergency, it has to be said, and even then it's not guaranteed. Why you want to change it, not my uncle, my cousin, my brother, Aunt Mary, nobody needs to hear all that. This email, don't work. I can't use it because of this, this, and this. Here's the email I'd like to go to. My name is John Smith. This is the email of the account. Um, everything you can think of, even whatever, just bullet points, but small. I get autobiographies. I don't have time to read all that. The point, what happened, what you tried, boom. Now, you know if you got an email or uh, something's not working, clean out your history. I don't know how. Go to Google and say, I have whatever browser. I want to clear my cookies. How do I do it? I have Firefox. How do I clean my cookies? It, it'll answer every question. You've even got a video. How do I do clean my desk? Same thing. So what computer do you have? How do I clean a desk? Boom, it'll tell you every step. And when you're cleaning your history, there'll be boxes there. Do not check off, clear out my password. If you're saving passwords, it will delete it. Okay, there's that. can't get your email. Yeah, we can't talk about that. You can't get your email. Huh? I mean, I'm passing with a powerful company, but my God, they can't do that. It's not even set up to do that. Administrators cannot access your account. That's your responsibility. You know that? Nobody can get in there. It's yours. They do have enough staff, staff to help you if you can't log in. Several products already launched and working. O-Mail has 145,000 people have it. Yes, I'm going to get into that. O-Chat, 
some regions, some don't. I got OCHAP for the first time today. It's pretty cool, but it's there today. Was the blue screen? Clicked it. I waited a little bit longer. Boom, it came on. Now when I go, it comes on right away. Oh, desk is out. I said he's in Boston. They're going to do O Tracker and then O Staff. Probably Thursday, maybe, if they do O Tracker. O Staff, I think he's going to do with Hula Hoop Susie McCray. If you are having any team structures. Okay. One more time. Once we are stable and have enough products, three weeks later, we will there we will have something big. Maybe I'll tell you a, something in January. Okay, big. Big so everybody knows what's going on. Big. Not big. Marketing campaigns will start in January will continue for 16 months. What does that tell you? It doesn't, listen. And one thing I want to add, and this is re this drives me insane. How much grace period do we get? When did you start? If you started two years ago, you had two years grace period. You started a month ago, you have one month grace period so far. Don't wait until it launches and go, okay, how much grace period do I have? Save every nickel and dime until it comes. Don't wait. If you don't pay... You can't play. So you know that. So get ready. Do what you can now. Marketing campaigns will start in January and continue for 16 months, not 12. What does that tell you? Okay, it's not brain surgery. I'm still looking to give someone a million YouTube views. Probably won't be me. I'm not that polished. But if I was somebody, if you can explain the um, passive uh, universe in five minutes or less, there's a chance you could get a million views. So I would, if I were you, I would do it. I would try. Anyway, Ash also brought up about YouTube. Uh, unique thumbnails. I know people have a lot of writing, a lot of gadgets. You know, I mean, I did marketing a year and a half ago with Mike and Dan, and one of the biggest hits we ever got, ever, was that baby face going, surprise look on it. And you think, oh, that's silly. Nobody's going to click on it. Well, reality is they did. Then I did one with this you know, this perfect woman walking to a jet with the perfect husband with the little girl got none. Then I got one with a tray of gold nuggets. Nothing written, nothing. Slammed it. You do what works, not what you like. That's how you find out. Anyway, India is going to have a new merchant. I think that's a big deal for the Indians. Uh, 8,900 GSP and fees. Singapore merchant didn't work out the way they wanted, so they will still be receiving funds for 30 days. You can ask for a refund for 30 days. Why anybody ask for a refund? The second half of January will be beta test O-Connect with a few well-trusted founders only. O-Connect. They're going to test it. Can't wait. In India, here's another one. In India, and this isn't putting on Indians. I got India Indians, but very good friends in India. But we got to make sure, and the reason I say this, we got to make sure that the message of how Unpassive works is delivered correctly and the truth. Yes, we all use hype, but hype will not set you free. Do you really need hype with Unpassive? No, zero. There's people doing many, many um, presentations that are spot on. Mike Ellis, Red Redford, Robin Noble. Uh, Julie's got a, about 30 people that do them great instead of trying to name everybody. I don't do presentations. And you, if I was an, an Indian leader, I would take one, look at it, and translate it to your language because if you bring people in 
with not 100% accuracy, you're going to deal with that from now on. Because someday you got to pay a check that you signed. And if you're, if you're signing something that's not quite, it's got a little bit too much of a twist on it, you're going to be dealing with that forever. Yeah, we can get the numbers. I could have doubled my team if I really hyped it up. But it's not MLM. It's not affiliate marketing. It's not evil marketing. It's on passive. Get the facts. I want everybody to succeed. I don't care if you got 200, 150,000 people on your team. If 140 of them don't really know what's going on, you're going to deal with that at once. So let's try to help each other. Some of my best friends that I'm passing are from India. This has nothing to do with putting anybody down. But go to someone, not me, I'm not the guy that does it, take the video and translate it 100%. Knock down the hype. We're running out of time. But I would do that right away if I were you, right away. Uh, and I'm willing to work with any Indian leader. I don't know what, I, I mean, I'm not a pres presenter as much, but I know that I know what how this company runs pretty well, as well as anybody else. But you can go to Red. You can go to whatever. Let's Look, we're a global company. We're all family. Get the facts and say the crap right. Say it the way it is. There's no reason to say something that's not true. Oh, you're going to make a million dollars a month, 700000 a month. Why? You're going to pay the piper at the end. <coughs> um. Ask was even saying, if we fail to bring in new customers, which won't be the case, and just attract countries and governments and schools, then we will be adding tens of millions at a time. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Put that in your pipe and suck on that for a while. Talk about not being able to sleep. But on top of that, we're going to bring in millions of customers, okay? Add the two. And remember, in the future, they're not going to have a couple hundred people. There'll be thousands of employees working for Impassive around the world. In January, he's going to tell us there's going to be another company somewhere outside of India that is going to be slamming, just like India. It's going to be everywhere. We're looking at it too small. You see the foundation. You can't have this foundation and not build big every day. That's why Ash is all over the place, because that's how you have to be like him to be able to do this. It's not everybody. If everybody could do it, they would. But what you see now is nothing what you're going to see in a year. Two years, no, it'll be unrecognizable for the better. And remember, Ass is trying to go give away legally as much as he can. He has no financial, I want to be a trillionaire. He, he doesn't. I want to be a billionaire. He, he doesn't. I think he will be, but he, he, that's not his goal. It's not. It's no joke. And if you don't believe it, bite me. Okay? If you don't know by now something's wrong. If you don't have that vision that, that most people I talk to has, it's not for you. That's okay. Oh, you're delusional. You don't know. Okay, I am. Most delusional, happy guy I've ever seen. I believe it like I believe my family. My last name is DeGarmo. I'm as much on passive as I am DeGarmo itself. Have been. Long time. They're paying the best mathematicians to look over the payment structure to see, is it feasible, does it work, and is it long-lasting? Who does that? 
you know, most companies do, they build up some kind of payment structure and either hurt themselves as a company or rip off the people because they didn't take time to find out mathematically does this work. And it'll be fluid. Things will change throughout years to come. But it'll always be better. What more could you ask for? He's thinking about having some big shindig after he does the U.S. tour, which he plans on finishing by the end of January, and maybe in Orlando, uh, maybe in Florida. I think that's mind blowing. That'd be great. And then I think um, he's going to wind up over in uh, overseas. This is very important too. I, when I said it, I some of the stuff is so profound if you just listen. How do you get along with different cultures and different people? Bring the relationship to the honeymoon and don't pass it. You don't need to know details about someone that might make you think different. I don't want to think different. I know the best about people. And that's good enough for me. Because the core of a person comes out. You can't hide that. And I love the core of people I've met. Situations happen in life that I wouldn't want to come up and brag about, okay? I was teens and 20s and did dumb things. But my core, who I am, I'm not afraid or want to hide it. I'm, I'm very proud of who I am. I'm happy with who I became. And there's a lot of people on passive that I meet that will be my friend for life. Women and men alike. And how you do that is bring it to that level, I said. Bring it to that honeymoon level. Not past that. Not where you're starting to complain about things. You bring it to the point that you got the best out of that person. You, you heard the best from him. Then you can tolerate a little bit of ups and downs. That's part of being a friend. But don't go past that. It's not necessary. Very, very good advice. The bonus will be for existing founders. The sleepers, they will get only one component of the bonus. I mean, it only makes sense. If you elected to be passive, completely passive, which I mean, you paid. You might have logged in once and that's it. You may not be getting a, a very heavy bonus. Okay, let's use common sense here. It doesn't make sense. But people that build a team, uh, percentage-wise, it is more of a chance to get in a bonus. Why? If I'm by myself and they get me somebody that's one person, I make X amount of dollars. If it's me and I have 500 people on my team, the chance of the 500 getting one has brought up my chances pretty much higher. So just use common sense. But the bonus to me, uh, uh, yeah, of course I need it. I got four grandchildren. My wife's not working, and you know what I do. So I'm passing. Uh, of course I need it. But where the big things start changing is when it launches. And it sounds to me like premier launch bonus right into unpassing. So, oh my God, I can't wait. Um, Academy will be after launch of O Tracker, O Stamp, and O Connect, and O Bless. It's a big deal, it's a big platform. Anyway, I wanna wrap this up because I've spent I've spent, oh my God, 50 minutes, the longest live I've ever done. I hope the live was okay, but I really wanted to get into detail because because uh, I can. <laughs> a lot of times on a live, because it's out in the world, I can't talk. I wanted to prove to you that I can talk. <laughs> anyway, um, 
thanks for everything. Uh, you guys, women and men, make my day. I have friends from around the world for life. Uh, you know my goal. I'd like to have a, another house with a big living room. So when I invite people like you to come, you got a place to stay and we could tell old war stories of the, the journey that we took. I hope you like the update. Love you all. And I'm not kidding. I don't say words like that and not mean it. Um, let's work together. Um, and I think God blessed us with this company. And it wasn't an accident. I believe that. And a couple of booms and I'll be out of here. And thanks for spending almost an hour with me. But I wanted to make a point today that I could really get into detail because I think yesterday's webinar was uh, was the beginning of something really big. Anyway, love you all and uh, good day. And oh, in one hour, we have a guest webinar. And if you invite new people to it, I'm going to say, don't get in. So all you, just do your part. Invite them there. And they'll get in. I'll see y'all. God bless. Goodbye.